as I'm waiting on the float to finish the second carburetor reassembly, I thought I'd shoot a little follow-up video on the rebuild of the SU HIF four carburetors. I ended up painting the dash pot covers in like a brilliant silver from one of the major spray paint manufacturers. Um, looks pretty good, almost looks too good on the uh, less bright carburetor, but uh, it worked out all right. Also, there was something missing from my carburetor that I thought I should point out. So right here is your idle adjuster screw, and I pointed out that you should put springs on your uh, idle screws. However, there is also a screw that goes right here, and that is for your fast idle. And what that does is as you engage the choke here, it rides on this cam and it will actually bump up the throttle to match the increased fuel from the enrichment device. So as your choke pulls this cam around, it will interface with the fast idle screw here and bump up the throttle ever so slightly. And there's settings on where your fast idle should be. I've heard 1500 RPMs. Um, it really is not crucial what your fast idle is. Idle speed should be right around the eight or 900 mark. Um, although John Twist says it really doesn't matter. So that was one thing that I noticed was missing on my carburetors. That is a British threaded screw. The closest uh, standard thread that I can find is 640, which is pretty much impossible to find. So if your carburetor is missing any of these screws, you're probably going to have to order them from one of the online retailers. For the whopping total of $3.50 a piece for this tiny little screw, yeah. So uh, I, I think it's 4 BSA is the, is the technical thread, but it's a, a 6-40 uh, screw. So uh, if your carburetor is missing those and you're wanting to, it to be complete and functioning with the fast idle and everything, uh, grab yourself a couple of those screws and the springs to go with it. Um, other than that, the second carburetor went just as smoothly as the first, save the fact that there's a fuel in that float. And when you get that float from any of the retailers online, it comes with half of the gaskets that you need because they assume you're gonna pull the carburetor off the vehicle and disassemble it and change the float. So it comes with all the, the gaskets to pull it off, the air filter masking, mounting gasket, the, um, the float bowl gasket and everything because they assume that you're literally disassembling half the car in order to get the, the float back in. And like I said, I have literally done that upside down on the side of the road with the carbs still on the car. So it is possible just way, way easier to do it while it's sitting here on the bench.